What's up guys? I want to walk you through the F-250 transformer truck. You guys may have seen it. It's a truck that looks completely like a crazy off-road pre-runner and it opens up like a transformer. You open up the bed sides, open up the bumper, full tools, welders, plasma cutter, you name it. We built the whole thing from scratch. It took us about 90 days. So I want to walk you guys through it and show you everything we did. Courtney, you're yeah. supposed to have your phone on silent. <laughs> so we'll start with the interior. We uh, we got with Roadwire and uh, they literally hand stitch all the seats. They did the headliner all suede. We didn't do anything too crazy because again, the whole point behind a great build is to make it look factory. You want everyone to ask, what did you guys do? Did you guys redo the seats? Did you do the steering wheel? Did you do anything to the bed? Well, yeah, we did because the bed comes up, but we just kept it very simple. Uh, going to the motor, you know, it's the, this motor is no joke in this thing. We teamed up with No Limit Fabrication, and these guys literally bolted on hundreds of horsepower. We utilized a precision uh, 74 millimeter turbo and a fleece 63 millimeter that's down there. Wrapped everything in cool at Thermal Tech Heat Shield. This grill is very special because my dad and I, we literally hand built this thing. So we took, we start off with half inch aluminum bars. We hand radius them to fit every single contour of the truck. And uh, we welded them all together. This bumper, uh, you guys probably will never see on a truck again, but this is the factory bumper. I cut the whole top of it off and had to cut all this and extend the whole bumper because we widened all the fenders about three inches. As you can see, they're bulged, and I'll get to why we actually did that in a second, but it's a lot of work. A lot of work to do this truck and to make it look factory. Courtney welded a lot, huh, Courtney? Yeah, you all did? the welds you see that are like perfect, those are for me. They are? What kind of weld? TIG. TIG. <laughs> She doesn't even know what TIG is. No. So we also did full off-road Cognito suspension. Everything's all TIG welded. Uh, TIG welded? I told you. And did you do that? Yeah. You did? <laughs> Loser. Everything's all TIG welded. We did Fox fully adjustable shocks. So you have your compression rebound here. Uh, we went with true beadlocks. These are all forged KMC wheels. And of course, we went with the best tires in the world. BF Goodrich, we decided to do the KR2s on this thing. It's just, I don't know, it's one of those things we're building a, a off-road chase truck. We wanted it to be as durable as possible and the number one thing on any vehicle is starting with the tire and making sure that the tire is correct. These actually have Kevlar built into them and they are the strongest tire on the planet. Again, not too much to see on the inside. Kevnet factory. But when you shut up the truck, this is where it gets fun and exciting. And you can tell actually what we did. Because when you look at it, you, you know something's been done to these fenders because they're widened. So when, when you look at the truck now, you know, a factory fender would be roughly here. This fender's all the way out here. So they're, they're bulged. And the cool part with these fenders is they're drawn on a computer machined on a massive mill out of foam and then splashed back out of fiberglass. So to make that exact fender and that fender is so much work. The light bar, uh, my dad and I created and uh, did the idea in the shop and then all of us attacked it. Uh, Jaeger welded everything together and, and did a very good job. But the hard part with each one of these lights, they're all rigid industry lights, but what makes this light bar work is as you can see, all the bracketry behind it. So each one of these lights starts as six pieces. I had to cut and fixture every single piece of this light. And then we had to radius a bar that matched exactly on the windshield. And then we attached a bracket and had to bring all the, the, the weight all the way, like roughly to here on the cab. So it's all bolted across the cab because that is a heavy light bar. I don't know, Courtney, should we show them the bed yet? Show them the inside. I already did. Oh. All right, we'll show them the tailgate. So the tailgate, let's get to the tailgate. Again, 
I'm a construction worker, and uh, for those of you that have seen this truck, you're probably asking yourself, well, it's, it's too small now to fit drywall or four by eight sheets of plywood. Well, what we did is my dad and I, because that's, that's our background is remodeling houses, we literally made this four foot two inches wide. So now you can fit a complete drywall, anything you have. You have wiggle room on each side. All this stuff is quick detached if you're not in the desert. So you pull out the Pro Eagle Jack, all the BF Goodrich tires. Everything is just quick pins. We did all the max tie downs just because it's they're insanely nice and again if you don't want the tires you just pop them out real quick you throw your drywall on there done deal maybe if you're at the job and uh, you lost a bolt or something that's where we made this this right here where uh, we have all grade 8 bolts uh, we have heim joints for our tie rods link arms stuff like that and now to the good parts We'll have Courtney demonstrate. Let's go, let's start with this bedside. Let's see if she remembers. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just put a little pressure on the bedside. A little more. All right, Courtney weighs like 80 pounds, so we'll see if she can lift it. There you go, Courtney. Wait, hold on, back down. Back down like halfway. I just want to show the mechanism. Back up, back up. <laughs> so as you can see, this thing moves really easy. Like, is it pretty light, Courtney? Yeah. Move it one-handed. Bring it all the way down, back up. The whole point is, is I'm wanting to show everyone how easy this thing is. But Courtney's just light. It takes a little tension to start. So you guys can see how this works. This is what was fun with this project. So big guy, my dad and myself, we spent months creating the proof of concept on this truck. And the proof of concept is exactly this truck on how it works. So we wanted to take a truck that virtually looked factory. You can see it literally looks factory. You look at all the body lines, everything's perfect. Look there, you look here perfect you look down the truck everything's in perfect lines when you shut it the heights are exact this way is exact so we want to take a truck that was like that perfect but then you have a full toolbox bed underneath it so Courtney go ahead and open up the doors Courtney is my uh, my showcase are here. <laughs> so check it out. So all these are awesome because how we made these is we used all boxo tools and these are all mounted in foam. And the fun part with this is if you need a tool, you just take it, throw it wherever you're working and you could take the whole thing. So we literally have loaded down every single tool you could imagine. And Keep now going. they don't rattle when we drive. Oh yeah, we always get the, oh my gosh, if you run that thing off road, all the tools are out. Well, no they're not, because it's literally, it, they're hard to pull out. Everything has a spot. Everything mounts in foam. Like these, like you're not gonna, you're not gonna rattle them. I mean, everything is just in its own location right now. I don't have it in here, but usually we have onboard air. I had to air it up. Uh, right here we have all max tie downs again, just in case like you break down off road, maybe we're in the middle of the desert and uh, have to pull out a trophy truck or something. We gotta have tie downs or if we gotta fix something, these are tow ropes, gloves. Why don't you open up that one, Courtney? This right here is a pretty cool part of the truck because you literally have a little of everything. So you start with screwdrivers, and then you go to wrenches, sockets, and then you have all your pliers. You have dykes, you have Allens, just everything you would need. That's what's fun about this truck. Oh, are you okay? I'm sorry. 
that's what's so fun about this truck is having all the tools on it. <laughs> I hope that rewind was real good. So there's that. Here, Courtney. I might have to open up this. So this whole side is full of tools. The next side we'll get to, but the next fun part about this whole truck, and again, this was all my dad and I's idea, is we fully patented all this. And so one of the things we patented was our toolbox in the back. So we call this the Diverti Bumper Box, which we're coming out with soon. But this thing utilizes a full MIG, TIG, stick, and we have a full plasma cutter on board with this thing. And we made it all suitcase style. That way if we had, let's say we couldn't get this truck to a location that we were at, we could pull everything out and physically take it over there and weld with it. So I was pretty stoked to team up with Miller on that. Uh, Courtney, I'll, I'll hand you this. So this side we utilize more for the oils, the rags, we have fire extinguisher, other tools. And uh, I always got tired of being on the construction side or being somewhere and having all the tools thrown in the truck. You've got stuff all over the seats, you're scratching your seats. So the whole point of this, again, was to be nice and organized and to make it look factory. And part of the cool thing with this thing being factory is people don't know tools are in here. So it's like, imagine yourself being at a hotel parking lot overnight. People don't know what this truck is. And that's what's awesome about it. I mean, if someone walked by and just seeing a toolbox with a truck, you know, someone's gonna come up here with a pry bar, break in, it's gonna happen all the time. But with this, we, we have all our rags, we just threw in a little kicker speaker that way at the job site. Uh, this one is empty right now, but what I what I had in here uh, is I used to have all ATF, I had motor oil, I had coolant, just stuff like that for when we go test. Uh, we have rags all here. And again, this side has more tools. We got a safe craft fire extinguisher. This one's a quick pull, so you have a problem, just pop the pin. What did I say? Cute. I say it cute? Yeah. How do I say it? Fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher. Like blend them all together. Just because I have an accent. She's making fun of my accent, guys. Anyway. <laughs> so that's what's fun about this truck. It's you got a fully loaded truck that looks factory. And when it's all closed, you would never know what's back there. And I will say this, that I am very sad to see this go. I mean, hence why I'm doing the video. We, we actually sold the truck. I gotta pay for other machines and stuff that we're doing, which you guys will be able to see soon. Uh, we're gonna start machining all of our own parts. But this truck right here has been an absolute blast. All the companies on board, I couldn't think enough. And uh, you know, with this truck this year, we've reached well over 700 million people. And it's just one of those trucks that are completely different. I've gotten uh, my wife right here to do all kinds of funny videos. How have the videos been, Courtney? Um, a lot of criticism, but a lot of fun. <laughs> one of the videos we did, was it this side you put the food in? Yeah. And where'd you go? Where'd you go to get the food? Chili's. We went to Chili's and I said, all right, Courtney, we're gonna do this video. We're gonna put Chili's in the toolbox and uh, you're gonna just pull up and pull out the food and be like, all right, dinner's ready. And how'd that video do? You could put it in the cab or what people say. She's, she's saying what comments people said. Yeah. Uh, you forgot the salsa because I didn't grab it all because I don't have 10 arms. Um, Man, dinner is chilies. What a good wife, not. <laughs> and then Brad made me do a bow and arrow one. Oh, that one was that funny. One got the most criticism because we found an old bow when we were packing. You know what? I'm gonna cut these in right here. So check them out real quick. Brad, dinner's ready. I got us to go. 
<laughs> All right, so keep going now that I showed them. So we found an old bow that was like forever ago. And what did you do? Pulled it out and I held it the wrong way. I dry fired. You know what? We're going to do one right now. Yeah, got our bow and some arrows. Happy Friday. <laughs> as, as we're filming here, we're gonna open this. You, you know how this works, right, Corny? What? Pull this pin, and we're gonna pull out that fire extinguisher and just be like, Brad. There's a fire down the street. Let's go get it. Okay. Here's how these videos start. But then they get like I get the nastiest. Comments. No, that's fine. Here, here's how they start. All right, Courtney, you're set. All right, go ahead. Brad, there's a fire down the road. <laughs> Courtney, finish it. <laughs> what do you? What is that? I didn't even open it all the way. Anyway, guys. Go. That's how these videos go. When you see the videos on our profile, it's literally us just having spur fun. Spur of the moment. Spur of the moment stuff. And uh, just more entertaining for everyone that watches through social. You know, for us, we don't, we don't show too much of our personal life besides what's on the show. So Courtney and I like having fun. And uh, she doesn't really like doing all the videos I make her do, but that's all right. I'm just not very, like, outgoing like you are yeah you are so here's what we're gonna do oh gosh, i'm just gosh. gonna film for the last time just shut up each cabinet shut that door come shut the bumper and then shut up that side and that'll be our video okay you ready yep this is sad i know You're just really little. I don't want to break anything. Oh. <laughs> Dust off the hands. And that's that. Alright guys. Thank you guys for tuning in to our video here. Uh, but this isn't the last time we're building something crazy. This is just the start. And uh, yeah, it's sad to see this thing go. But it's time for a new project. What are you thinking? Mm. What kind of build? A Range Rover. Oh my gosh. No. We're not doing a Range Rover. Uh, Stay tuned. Wait. No, 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 we can't let we can't let we can't let the women choose. A C10. Stay tuned. A C10. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs>